what I wanted to do today was a little bit of like a challenge um, because I have this beautiful mess of a painting. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't like where it is right now. And I'm like, what the heck am I going to do on this canvas? And I have tons of canvases that, um, it's like the first thing that comes to mind when you're going to paint something is like, what the heck do I want to do with this thing? You know, like, what am I, what am I going to paint? And I like to paint. I like to draw, but sometimes coming up with like the subject or the idea can be such a pain in the butt and it stops me from moving forward into making something. So I decided to create this like challenge on, you know, what to paint when you don't really know how to paint. So really know what to paint, not how to paint, anyways. So uh, what I decided was to get some little sheets of paper and, um, write down simple subjects to paint and then colors so we can pick what we're going to paint and then our uh, color palette so on my blue paper I have the subjects so I have dog, flower, cat, landscape, house, still life, fruit, ramen, uh, people, person, uh, street, furnished room, or self-portrait. Um, self-portrait scares me the most, mainly because I've never done a self-portrait before. Mm, so I'm scared to death. That's going to show up. If it doesn't show up, it'll be another challenge for me in the future. <laughs> so, and then on my green papers, I have the colors. Obviously you wanna pick colors that you have, you know. So I have 12 different colors. What I want to do with the, the paint choices or the color palette is choose at least four um, random colors and then have a black and a white as like a constant. Four colors, black and white. Sure. Why not? Um, so I'm gonna cut these little bits of paper and kind of do like a little pick it out of a jar or whatever that I have and then we'll see what the heck I'm gonna do on my canvas. Very exciting, very exciting and scary. I have two, these are like two old makeup cases that I have from, you know, when I was a makeup artist. Um, so they are going to be our little, you know, choose them boxes. I don't know. So this one is all the blue. So these are gonna be my subjects. The other one's green. Um, so that'll be all of the colors, my color palette. So, I'm like nervous. Okay, you guys. Okay. Oh my God, I'm scared. I don't want to pick one. Okay, I have one. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it after I pick four pieces of paper for my color palette. You know what? No. No cutscenes. So you guys know I'm not cheating. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> I have people or person. So I have to do people or person. Okay, I can vibe with that. Okay, okay. This is exciting. Green, so this is my color palette. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Okay, so color number one is going to be brilliant, brilliant blue. Can you see that? I like brilliant blue. Okay. Okay. Color number two. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. Okay, color number two is green. Straight up green. Okay. Color number three. <laughs> so we got blue, we got green. And okay, <laughs> light, okay, light olive green. So, I have, like a regular green and a light olive green. So far, cool tones. <sighs> but I need something. I need something. Okay. Let's do. We got our last one. Dude, I'm nervous. Oh, you guys. Light blue violet. So, okay, so I have to do paint people or a person in light blue violet brilliant blue green and light olive green let me show you what i have how those all look together so i have two blues and two greens that i'm going to work with so this is going to be a very like I don't know. Is it going to be boring? Not enough colors? I don't know. Let me get my paints. So, early blue, light olive green. <clears throat> I don't hate this palette. It's not horrible. So, I have the Liquitex Basics Acrylic. Um, so, this is my olive green. Light olive green. This is my green i don't know how to pronounce this name is it like focused i don't even know it's like some science name green this is my light blue violet and this is brilliant blue so this is my palette that i have to work with for my subject being people or person. And um, so it's, it's gonna be these colors plus um, black and white. So wish me luck. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It's probably not gonna be finished today, but at least I can get a good start and let my brain kinda figure it out.
hard for me to be consistent with my schedule. I do think it's So hi, this is day two for me. Um, I like where this is at. Technically, at this point, um, I did fulfill my challenge. <laughs> is it where I want it to be? No, I feel like it's very much in its beginning stages. But um, I do have a general color palette and I also have my subject so um, I'm gonna change not change the rules but I'm gonna break my own rules because this is my own little challenge and I get to break my own rules if I really want to so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I think right now uh, the challenge was really successful in the sense of getting me to a place where I feel like I can keep moving forward and working the way that I want to and you know this is like this is the color palette, this is the subject. Now my mind is going 100 miles an hour and I feel like amped up to continue to do what I feel like I wanna do. So I like this, I'm freaking loving the texture. I do love the color palette. It's just like so, it's cool tones and mm, very nice. I like it. I'm gonna let this whole thing dry and um, and then I'm gonna do what I do best, which is whatever I want to do. So, <laughs> um, I'm happy at where this is at. We'll see where it goes.